So in this video, we're going to discuss uh, symmetry, uh, in particular, even symmetry versus odd symmetry. Uh, even symmetry uh, has a function, if, if it's considered to be even, it's symmetric about the y-axis. And if a function is odd, we say that it's symmetric about the origin. So the y-axis and the origin. Now, this isn't very difficult to keep track of uh, because we can think of a couple simple examples here. If I give you y equals x squared, uh, we all know by now that that's your parabola that opens up. And it's pretty clear also that it is symmetric about the y-axis. I can take one side and fold it directly across the y-axis. It lies perfectly on top of the other. So a function like y equals x squared uh, would be considered even. And that's in large part because of the even exponent that's attached to the x. Now, <clears throat> the y equals x cubed uh, is pretty similar. We know what that looks like. But the, the idea of being symmetric about the origin is a little more difficult to, to visualize. So here's our origin right there. So this part of the graph right here, I'm going to fix. This part right here, I'm going to fix that. That's not going to move. Um, the green dot at the origin is kind of like my pivot point or my hinge. I'm going to fix the blue part. I'm going to create a, a, a green hinge at the origin, and I'm going to pick up this part right here, and I'm going to pull it around. As I pull that around, if I pull it around far enough, this red portion is going to fall directly on top of the blue portion, um, which is in turn what we mean when we say it's symmetric about the origin. Um, so we could then say that this is an odd function. Okay? Now, the odd part, again, comes uh, partly uh, because the, the exponent uh, is an odd number. Now, um, that's not always enough to, to make somebody believe or even um, show that something is even or odd. Um, there are some more complicated examples um, where we're not going to be able to rely on that, that simple fact. Um, so because of that, we have an algebraic test for symmetry. The algebraic test for symmetry um, is, is going to allow us to determine if something is even versus odd, um, not by looking at the graph so much as it is just understanding uh, the function itself. So for the algebraic test, we'll start with the function and evaluate it at negative x. Then we'll take it and we'll simplify it. <clears throat> if what you end up with is the original function, then it was an even function. If what you end up with is the opposite of the original function, then f is odd. Uh, if it doesn't end up even or odd, we would just say it ends up as neither. So back to the simple uh, functions, y equals x squared. Um, if we take this guy and we say that this is our function f of x, if I plug a negative x in with that even exponent, you can see that the negative would become absorbed or, or um, inconsequential to the function and show then that f of negative x actually equals f of x, once again showing it's even. If we take the x cubed function, and we do the same thing where we let our x be negative x. Now, with the exponent being odd, that negative is very much a part of this. And now we have the opposite of the original function. So we've just shown now that f of negative x equals the opposite of the original. Uh, and therefore, we have an odd function for x cubed.